What's going on? Everybody doing all right? In today's English lesson, what I want to do is talk about 15 words, give you the definition, use it in a sentence, and then show you a picture that tries to tell you what that word means. And for all of these pictures, I used AI. So as we go through some of these photos, you will see there are pretty major mistakes in some of them, not all of them. So the first one I want to talk about is actually a phrasal verb and it's squeeze in. But maybe we should talk about what the verb squeeze means first. Like I can do it with my hands. If something like an orange was in between my hands, that orange would get smaller. And as you can see in the picture, it looks like somebody is squeezing oranges to make orange juice. So that's the definition of squeeze. But whenever we use those verbs and put it into a phrasal verb like squeeze in, it does change the meaning slightly. So let's take a look at what the definition is. Squeeze in means to make room or time for something in a tight space or schedule. So let's say you're really busy one day. Maybe you just finished school and then you have to work in like two hours. Well, maybe you could squeeze in a nap. So there's a little bit of time there and then you will make a little bit of time for something important. So how about this sentence? I can squeeze in a quick meeting between lunch and my next class. I like the nap one. I like to squeeze in naps every so often. Here's a sentence about that. I squeezed in a quick nap after school before I had to go to work. So hopefully now you know a little bit more about squeezed in. Here's the verb. I squeezed the orange to make juice. How's that? Not too bad. The next one I would like to talk about is natural. If somebody is a natural, that means something comes easy to them. They don't have to work that hard at it. Maybe they were born with really good skills. So here's the definition. A natural is someone who is very good at something without much effort or training. I wish this was the case for me. It is not. But if you look at the picture there, you can see, hopefully there are no mistakes in this one. I don't think there are. I mean, I don't know what that math problem is. There could be mistakes there. But I mean, maybe that person is holding the calculator backwards. You know, I'm not sure, probably, right? But uh, they are performing some kind of what looks to me to be a very complicated math problem. But if they were just born, just really good at math, it came naturally to them. They didn't have to work at it. Well, that's good. It's not the case for me. I'm very, very bad at math. But I do have a sentence. Well, let's start with the definition first. A natural, we read that, didn't we already? A natural is someone who is very good at something without much effort or training. She's a natural at math, solving problems easily. So please, if you're thinking to yourself or in the comments section, are you a natural? at something. Is there something that you were good at? You didn't have to work very hard at, but you're just kind of good at it. I would say for myself, no, it seems like everything has come pretty hard to me. You know, even teaching English, which I think I do pretty well. I mean, I've been doing it for 20 years, so it's definitely not a natural thing for me to teach English. How about this one? Audition. Audition. An audition is a tryout for a role in a play, movie, or other performance. Let's make that picture a little bit bigger. This person looks like they have some judges on stage behind them. This is a weird setup for uh, an auditorium where you might give this performance. But there is clearly a person on stage, looks like they're singing, 
and there are judges. But in the background, like there are people watching from both sides. So AI might have messed up a little bit, but hopefully that makes sense. Like if you want to have a part in a play, you have to audition in front of people and they will either say, yeah, you're good for this part or no, we need somebody else. So here's a sentence using audition. He went to an audition to get a part in the school play. AI doesn't look too bad, but if you think about it, like why could there be people sitting on both sides of the stage? There really isn't a backstage there. Moving on. The next one is conflict. Conflict. So a conflict is a struggle or disagreement between people or ideas. And you can see right here, maybe there are brothers in that picture. Maybe they're just friends. I don't know. They look like the same person. Maybe they're twins. One is clearly a Monopoly fan because they even have a t-shirt with the game Monopoly on it. And they're holding a box. They want to play Monopoly. But the other friend or the twin wants to play Uno. And he has a bunny on his shirt for some reason. But if you look in the background, there are Uno cards on the table. So you can also let me know, which do you like better, Uno or Monopoly? I have to go with Uno just because it's a, it's a quick game. And sometimes Monopoly takes too long and I get bored. But here's a sentence using conflict. The two friends had a conflict over what game to play. The next term I would like to talk about is a verb, and that is tugs. I do have a picture for you that hopefully will make some sense here. But tugs means to pull something very hard. So in that picture, two pictures actually over there, it looks like they are having a game of tug of war. Tug of war, we call it in English, where two groups of people get on either side of the rope and they try to pull the other team towards them. We call that tug of war. But also, you could just use the verb tug, meaning to pull something very hard. And in the picture, there is a man with a leash in his hand. And it looks like he's walking his dog, but it could be that that dog doesn't want to move. So the man might be tugging on the rope to get his dog to move. Tug. Also this. This could be pretty mean. The mean brother tugged at his sister's hair. Now that's not very nice. But that English verb tug means to pull on something really quickly. How about this one? Home sewn. Not exactly easy to say. Home sewn. If something is home sewn, that means it was probably made at home. So here's the definition right down there. Home sewn means something made by sewing at home, usually clothes or fabric items, rather than made in a factory. So if you're not familiar with that word sew or sewn, the past tense, in that picture, it looks like this person has a sewing machine, that black thing right there, and it is stitching that shirt, it looks like. So like all the clothes I'm wearing today, they were made in a factory. Hopefully not a sweatshop somewhere. Do you know what that term is? Sweatshop. It's, it's pretty sad. But it's just basically where people are in a factory making clothes and the conditions aren't great and they're not paid a lot of money. But home sewn, if you have the talent, can be pretty cool. It means you you make your clothes at home, which I don't think many people do anymore. She wore a beautiful home sewn dress to the party, which she made herself. Now, I did write this sentence and there is a typo in it. Let me get rid of it. Does anybody see the typo? Let me know in the comments before I change it. But that comment, uh, that comma, comma, 
should not be there.